Whether they're soft and cuddly or full of purple slime, toys are the currency of childhood. At a trade show in New York, that includes techie toys, which for today's digital natives are really just toys. Tech is not a trend anymore. We're seeing it infused in all different types of play, um, whether it's an interactive pet, whether it's um, AR. We're seeing that a lot across the board, all different types of toys. Take Lego's Hidden Side building set, which pairs with an augmented reality app. Through the app, you actually scan the set, and it really comes alive. You're able to determine which parts of the set are haunted and capture ghosts and collect items. So it's a really interactive experience that's a little bit different than how other people are doing AR because you still have one hand in the physical and one hand in the digital. Even the classic drawing game Pictionary gets a digital update. Instead of using a piece of paper, we're going to use this, an air pen, and it's going to be the air in front of you that you're drawing on. Pictionary Air uses light recognition technology. There's no need to pair it to your device once you've got it. This is literally a battery and an LED, and it's going to track it on screen for you. Some uh, oh, camel. Yes. camel. Yes. This vehicle can go up to nine miles an hour. Tech Mods by Hot Wheels lets kids aged 8 through 16 build a car that's also Bluetooth enabled. This is an RC vehicle that you can control from your smartphone, and you can also use it as a controller for your smart device. And in a move that's more tech startup than toy company, tech mods will be available first to backers on the crowdfunding platform Indiegogo. They get to see it before everybody else does. Not only that, we get to have a dialogue with them. We can learn about how they're responding to it. We're really excited about that. These toys bring new meaning to the phrase early adopter. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.